everyone welcome back to my channel if you don't know who this is this is my husband Chris or sometimes he's known as Mr Sparkle, Sparkle. Hi, uh. <laughs> um, a little while ago I did a well one of the Poundland hauls that I did I showed you these and I think they were I think they're like a Valentine thing or something I don't know but I picked them up because I thought it would make a really good video and it says perfect match your partner the perfect match is your partner the perfect match yeah so we haven't opened them and as you can see we've no idea what all the questions are in here because it's still in cellophane do you want to yep, yep. take that out oh it's a simple question there's no answers only what you each think is no. the right answer yeah so the first one is where was our first date? That is so easy. It was in Portugal. And we went to Villa, Villa Mora. Mora. <laughs> and I was suffering a massive hangover. Nothing to do with this one here, I may add. No. What was it you were drinking? Um, um, Perno, Perno. Perno cocktails galore. Right, my turn, okay. Yep. So, who's the better cook? Mrs. Sparkle. Yeah. You are a good cook. I'm when a close you, second. Well, when I, well I don't know about close second, but you are very good. And I think if you did more, yeah. you'd be... I have trouble with the timing of a meal. But you are good. When you do cook, you cook yeah. very well. What is my least favourite household chore? Oh. Mine is dusting. Is it? I didn't yeah. know that. I don't mind hoovering. Actually, I should have known it because I didn't ever do any. So. <laughs> don't mind hoovering. I don't mind washing down walls or cupboards, but I just go around with a duster. Don't know why. Just is. Yeah. I'm uh, probably cleaning the toilet, I reckon. <laughs> yeah. But it has to be done. Yeah. And it's done often. Yep. Because my so. toilet is white. Who hogs the duvet? Mrs. Sparkle. She's the only person I know, quite rightly so, <laughs> that as she turns over in bed, she holds the quilt, the duvet, and rolls it with her. Do we all do that, girls? I reckon we do. I reckon we're all quite guilty of that. Yeah. What is my most embarrassing moment? Oh, I don't know. <coughs> There's a story about a lift. Oh, I won't go into that. <laughs> no. <laughs> I might have to think about that, you know. Yeah, we'll come back to that one. Come back we? to that one, yeah. Okay. What is my favourite meal? Roast dinner. Yeah, what's yours? Curry. Yeah, you do like oh or, or pie. Or pie, oh yeah. yeah. Like a pie, yeah. Don't you? Yeah. Okay. What is my favourite music genre? Oh, I say for you, if I was to answer for you. Mm -hmm. Which I do a lot. <laughs> um, I would say probably you like 60s music. Yep, yep. Yeah. That's where I was brought up with, so. Yeah, mine. And for you, possibly soul. Motown soul. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah, we've got quite an eclectic taste, haven't we, really? Yeah, yeah. Right. I even like Michael Bublé. <laughs> At Christmas. At Christmas. It's the only time to the record out. Um, if I could have any superpower, what would it be and why? Oh, I know. Oh, for me, I would love, love to have an invisible cloak. So I could go around, see what people are up to, see things, and they wouldn't know I was there. That's what I would like to do. Next week's lottery winning numbers. Oh yeah, oh that's my glass. The time of superpower. Mr. Spark was making a nice cup of coffee. So the next one. Where did we have our first kiss? Oh. That would have been sat outside Susan's Bar in the Aura Prior Hotel on February the 5th, 2006. Do you agree, Mrs. Sparkle? I do, followed by the lift. Followed by the story of the lift, which we will leave for later. We won't talk about that. No, we won't talk about that one anymore. What's at the top of my bucket list? Um, good health. 
is at the top of my bucket list. If you, if I'm talking about places I'd like to visit, because I have a bucket list for that, there's so many on my bucket list that there's not one that's more important than the other. I don't think there's just so many different places I'd still like to go and explore. Um, Family-wise, just to have healthy, happy kids. And that's all you can ask for. Yep. Yeah. And grandchildren. Oh, well, that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. I know the answer to this one. Who's the higher maintenance person in the relationship? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't answer it because it's true. That's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. you know. Where is my ideal place to live? Somewhere like Cornwall. Near to water, not necessarily the sea, nice river would do, um, not too crowded, never know one day maybe. Yeah, it would be Cornwall for me as well, I absolutely love Cornwall and every time we go there I feel like there's a strong connection with it, um, probably because a lot of my family roots are from Cornwall. Who gets the last word in an argument? Really argue, we don't argue, we just no. have discussions. Well, we have bickers, we do bicker. Yeah. Um, see, we were born on the same day, so we're the same um, star sign and everything, so we are very, very, very alike. Um, yeah, we're born under Gemini, which is the twins, so we're yeah, very much alike. Yeah, we are very alike. Very alike. Um, but I kind of... He's quite stubborn, actually. In, in the marriage, as in, if we do have a bicker over something, he doesn't say sorry. He will not say sorry. Maybe he thinks he's not wrong, but he often is wrong. But, he, you know, he really doesn't like to say sorry. Um, so I kind of go into a little bit of a... Well, I'm not talking to you then. Meltdown. <laughs> no, I don't get a meltdown, but I'm like, well, I'm not talking, yeah. I'm just sent him to Coventry basically yeah. and then he's like you know puts his tail back between his legs and comes creeping. <laughs> Moving swiftly on, what was the first film we ever saw together? Oh god, first film, um, so does that mean like, does it mean just going to the pictures? I think it means going to the cinema. Yeah. Go to cinema, yeah. so, okay. Well I think the first one we went to see at the cinema because we've watched loads of films yeah. just on, like, Sky and stuff like that. But probably one of the first ones we saw, did we go to see Casino Royale? Would you say that's one of the first ones we saw? Yeah, possibly, yeah. Casino Royale. Yeah. At the yeah. cinema, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So we watch most movies at home, like most yeah. people do these days. Yeah. Probably if I sat and thought about it Yeah, there might be. I mean, we've been to see others, but I think that might be the first. Yeah. Okay. What is my most irritating habit? Um, blowing your nose. Possibly, yeah. He doesn't Yours. really have many, to be honest. Yours? Oh, he'd say spending too much. Spending too much, yeah. Or having this irresistible urge to move the room around once I've left the room. And when I walk back, I can't find which one of my chairs in. <laughs> but there's no cure for that. It doesn't happen that often nowadays, <laughs> does it? Thank Christ for that. <laughs> if I could be an animal for the day, what would I be? If I could be an animal for the day, what do you think I'd be? Fly on the wall. Oh, no. <laughs> well, yeah, I, if I was like, I'd be... That would make me nice and sort of nosy, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, but if I could actually be an animal for the day, I think I'd probably be an elephant. I love elephants. Yeah, yeah, same here. Yeah, we both like elephants. Don't We've we? both got matching elephant tattoos as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which she'll show you one day. Mm -hmm. What was the naughtiest thing I ever did at school? I was really good at school. Yeah. I was a bit of a goody goody at school and I never really did anything naughty. I've got to be honest with you, I didn't. My school was quite strict, I suppose. The naughtiest thing I'd done was. Um, Something I didn't do, which was I didn't do my homework. Yeah, you went to a grammar school, didn't you? I went to a grammar school, yeah. Who's the better dressed one in the relationship? Leslie Ann. 
Um, well, obviously we're male and female, so it's different, isn't it? Yeah. But um, I think I help you with yeah. deciding yeah. what looks nicest on yeah. you. Don't I'm, I? I'm basically a jeans and t-shirt man. Yeah, or jogging bottoms and t-shirts. Yeah, jogging bottoms and, and t-shirts. Sometimes I'm like, um, actually, that would look really nice yeah. if you wore that, you know. What's my favourite piece of clothing? Oh, I know what mine is, my innie outies. Yeah. So we have this thing, um, it's a bit like clothes that I've got on, like we've got on now. I've just got a pair of leggings and I've got a t-shirt on. And we call them our innie outies, so that, like, I suppose you call it leisure wear. But it's clothes that you can wear indoors and be really comfortable and really slouchy in. But if somebody came to the door, you'd still look all right or you could pop around the yeah. co-op or something. Yeah. You know, so we call it our in outies. Other corner shops are available. Yes, <laughs> they are. Mm -hmm. What was my first car? Mine was a Ford Fiesta, which I bought before I passed my test. Um, mine was... I think it was an Austin 1100 and it was blue. Yeah, show me age there, aren't it? Show me age, yeah. yeah. What is my favourite colour? My favourite colour is green, followed very closely by yellow. Mine, I would say, is probably red. Yeah, you like red? Yeah, I like red. We both like uh, vibrant, don't we? Vibrant yeah. colours. I like pastel colours as well. I think clothes-wise you like pastel colours, yeah, like t-shirts yeah, and stuff, yeah. don't you? But in the house, I like I like a pop of colour in the house. Right. What decade would I travel back to if I could travel back in time? I'd go back to the 60s. Yeah. 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 It was my formative years, remember? Oh, yeah, I know. I would go to, if I could... I would like to have a little trial period back in my mind to the 1800s. Shush! To the 1800s, um, but I'd have to be like in the wealthy part of it, you know. I wouldn't want to be poor or anything. I'd want to wear all the crinoline dresses and drop my handkerchief and somebody lay their jacket down for me to walk over the puddle. I would have to be Darcy. <laughs> what was my favourite subject at school? Um, I think I like drama. Yeah? Yeah, I yeah. quite like drama. Yeah. Mine was technical drawing. But I liked most of my subjects. Yeah. Mine was technical drawing. Hmm. How many times did it take me to pass my driving test? To pass, fail the first one, pass the second one. Same here too. I think we're alike. Who made the first move? He did. She did. He did. He, she did. He did. She did. She went. <laughs> he did. You did. You did. You joined. Tell her. No, you made. You started coming over to me first. Because you give me the eye across the bar. Yeah, you, know, you can't. It, <laughs> we were on holiday. <laughs> And, yeah, we were in separate, I was on holiday with my, two of my friends, he was on holiday with his brother and a friend, and we were in separate bars all together. The one that me and my friends were in, um, there was like, it was like music, dancing, cabaret, that sort of stuff, and the one that Chris was in, it kind of chucked out a bit earlier, didn't it? Yeah. So you came in there with your drinks to finish off their drinks, and he just, as he sort of like came through the door, I, I had just looked at the door at that particular moment, and he came through it, and we just sort of smiled at each other, and I'll tell you how I know that he made the first move, because I was up dancing with my friends, and he came over dancing, and he never dances. No, I don't. Sorry about that. <laughs> right, where did we first meet? Well, we knew it, I've told you that. Yeah, Portugal. Uh, it was in Portugal, yeah. What is my favourite film? I know mine. I know mine. Mine's The Great Escape. I think mine would be The Colour Purple. What is my favourite song? Ooh. I don't know. I don't really have a favourite song, I don't think. No, I can't answer that one. Mine is... 
Unbreak My Heart by Tony Braxton. What's my proudest moment? Marrying the day I married Leslie Ann. It's probably your kids and having your children, I imagine. And my children, of course. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Mine was being given birth to all of my children, followed by marrying Chris. I no, but any mother, <laughs> any mother would yeah, say right, yeah. that. If I had to take one thing to a desert island, what would that be? Mine would be a photograph of my family. Mine would be my wife. Oh. <laughs> right, we have, what is my favourite album? <laughs> Mine is Dark Side of the Moon. Oh, is it? Yeah. By Pink Floyd. Oh, I didn't know that. I would have said to know more of the world, or whatever it's called. Okay. Yeah, mine would be um, Al Green's greatest hits. Who do you think wears the trousers in our relationship? We share them. I think we do. I don't yeah. think there's yeah. like a, a, a boss or. No. Um, We're joint decision makers. Yeah, definitely. I know that sounds a bit corny, but it's true. Who is my celebrity crush? I don't think I've got one. Have you not? No. What, from, back, from years back then, what would it be? Oh, from years back? Say who, who well, it was years ago then. Years ago, it used to be, uh, a, a, obviously a female, Greta Scarchi. She was a, um, a French actress, I believe. Didn't do a lot, but she just had mesmerising eyes. Um, mine would, well, I know I wouldn't have got anywhere with him, but it, at one time it was George Michael. Um, and then I've always, always had a crush on two other people. Um, one of them is Ray Parker Jr. who sang the song in Ghostbusters, the theme tune, Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters, he sang that. And the other one is Denzel Washington still to this day. What is your favourite body part? Oh, my eyes. Yeah, well, me, I... Don't like much no. about my body. No. <laughs> but I like my eyes, oh. I think. No, couldn't say that one. I don't have a favourite body part of my own. I quite like your thighs. I said that before. Ooh, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll go with that then. My thighs. <laughs> What's my idea of a perfect holiday? Doing nothing. A relaxation yeah. holiday. I'll, we're both not these pe type of people that have holidays where they've got to go out and do a, a tourist trip every day of the week. That they are. No. We like to relax. We see a bit of local history. Yeah. We find a nice coffee shop where we just sit out on the pavement, watch people walk by. We're find not a nice restaurant. Yeah, we, we just relax. We're not. We um we both like a beach holiday, but not necessarily laying on the beach. We yeah. like to go in the sea a couple of times. We like to walk along the beach, um, and like Chris said. Our choice is to have a fortnight holiday. We don't always, but if we can, because then we spend one day doing something, exploring, seeing, you know, going out, and the next day just totally chilling with a book, and yeah. then we carry that on throughout yeah. the holiday. Um, and when we go out, we like to <coughs> eat with the locals, traditional drink, food, drink where the locals drink, eat where they yeah. eat, and enjoy it. And don't make see make the, new friends. Yeah, we don't see the point in going away, going abroad to eat English food. No. <laughs> really? No. Who is more likely to deal with a spider? Oh, the word itself makes me, me feel ill. Yep. I can't bear the bloody things. Oh, excuse yep. my language. Yep, that's me. Who said I love you first? I think it was probably me. I think it was you. Yeah. So I can't put a ring on your finger yet, so I'm going to put a diamond around your neck, didn't you? I did, yep. Old romantic. Not so old. <laughs> How do I take my tea? Edging on the side of strong, mm -hmm. with milk, but definitely no sugar. Yeah, same here. I kind of like a builder's cup of tea. What's my guilty pleasure? Doing nothing. Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> Crusty bread. Crusty bread. Fresh butter. Mm -hmm. 
cheese, cheese, wine, wine, tequila. Tequila. <laughs> We've got quite a few. Vodka shots, gin <laughs> shots. Yeah. What is my favourite restaurant? Wow. We used to have a favourite restaurant called Taps, didn't we? Yeah, darling? but that changed owners and. Yeah, that was lovely. Wasn't to our liking after after. It was a very intimate, small, family-run restaurant. Um, the owner's son was the chef and everything, and it was yeah. lovely. The food was fabulous, um, but it yeah, it's not there now. Now uh, there's there's no one that I would call my favourite, mm -hmm. but the one I would like to go back and try again is the Noble House Chinese restaurant in South Sea. Well, we yeah. Have that platter. Yeah, that's that's nice. That is yeah, a nice. Other fun. than that, you know, we we dine out so many different places because we've got friends and family all over the place that there's not one restaurant that we go back to like. On no, a regular we, basis. we quite like to go to. Um, Raymond Blanc. We quite like to go to Raymond Blanc's restaurant. We quite. Yeah. Well, we do enjoy that, don't yeah. we? So if we were to sort of say, "Oh, let's go out for something to eat," we probably would that would be on the list somewhere yeah. it tends to be we choose the restaurant after we've chosen where we're going yeah so if we're going to winchester to a bit of shopping we would go to raymond blanc's at winchester if we're going to gunwolf we would probably go to raymond blanc's at gunwolf yeah. right who's the more romantic mm -hmm. one in the relationship you are i am am i yeah yeah, he one, did. One up for me. Yeah, he, he is. He doesn't always show it, but he is. I know he is. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm sort of a bit old school. I am romantic, but I like the chivalry and everything to be shown to yeah, me. Yeah, don't I? Yeah. I might add that I bought her a ring for Valentine's Day. She bought me a set of wood chisels. <laughs> Clamps. <laughs> and. Fixing clamps and, and chocolate. <laughs> oh, and some chocolate, yeah, yeah. It's just buttering me up for something. <laughs> but I did need the chisels. Yeah. What would be my dream holiday? I know what mine would be. For our honeymoon, we went to Bora Bora yeah. in the South Pacific, and I would love, to go love, back. love, love to go back there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was incredible. Mm -hmm. I said to her when we were planning our wedding and honeymoon, I said, where do you want to go for honeymoon? It's your choice. And she said, Bora Bora. And I said, never heard of it. Where's that? I wished I hadn't. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was quite expensive. expensive yeah. But well worth a visit. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Getting near the end, darling. Yeah. What's my favourite thing to have for breakfast? Oh, I know what yours is. Mine's a full English. Full English, yeah. 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 Uh, mine, do you know what I quite like? I do like a full English, don't get me wrong. But I actually quite like continental breakfast so that you can have like a bit of everything. You can have like, you know, fruit, yogurt, pastries. Cheese. Yeah, cheese. I quite like a continental yeah. breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> what was my first job as a warehouse boy? in the Caters Supermarket in Bromley and I started that on the 21st of June 1964. 15. 15, yeah. Oh, my first ever job was for, uh, working for an insurance company. What's my favourite season? I know Leslie Ann will tell you it's spring and autumn. What, for me? Yeah. Yeah. Yours is summer. Mine's more summer, yeah. 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 I love, I love seeing all the buds come out on the tree. If you can hear the noise, it's the dogs playing. You know what they're like, um, and barking. I love to see all the new buds coming out on the trees, um, and I equally love it when the leaves have fallen and they're all crunchy under your feet. I love both of those seasons. Yeah. Right, this one probably answers itself if you watch this video closely. Am I a dog or cat person? Yeah, yeah. We are dog people. We're dog, 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 yeah. dog people. Yeah, we're dogging people. <laughs> Cut that bit. What's my favourite takeaway? Ah, uh, yours is Indian, I reckon. Yeah, it'd be Indian, yeah. I think mine's probably Chinese, but it's very closely followed by Indian, though. Or fish and chips. Oh, fish and chips. Can't be yeah. fish and chips. More key, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I like it all, guys. What's my favourite book? Don't know. 
Um, myself, I don't have a favourite book per se, but I like spy thrillers and espionage thrillers. Um, yeah. When I pick up a book, that is. Yeah, I, I mean, I do like a novel, um, a bit of fiction, autobiographies, but there's not like one particular book I can say, oh, I've read it over and over and it's amazing. Sorry. What is my nickname for you? Goddess. And what is your nickname for me? Teddy Bear Bum. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to see his bum, you'd know why. <laughs> uh, so here's the last one. What's my favourite pizza topping? Mine would be along the lines of pepperoni. Mm. Mine would be um, probably goat's cheese with rocket, that sort of thing I like. Caramelised onion, that sort of thing that I like. And now we're going back to this one for Leslie Ann, which she didn't. Did you talk like about it? Yes, I did. Oh. What is my most embarrassing moment? Okay. My most embarrassing moment then. Um, some years ago now, I was in Barcelona with my best friend Wendy, who, as you know, guys, if you follow me, um, if you're subscribed, then you know that I've recently lost her. She recently passed away. But I went to Barcelona with her and her twin sister, Karen, and we went to Montserrat for the day to visit the monastery. And there was a little section there where you could go and get a drink, of tea, coffee or hot chocolate. So I decided to order us all a hot chocolate. Um, and the monastery, everywhere there were signs saying, you know, no cameras, um, silence please, because there were people in prayer, mm. there were pilgrims and stuff like that. And I had the, they put the hot chocolate on a tray for me and they were like the paper cup, paper cups, so quite sort of lightweight really. All of a sudden I dropped the tray and it was instinct to just go, oh, mm. yeah, and I swore. And it echoed, do, 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 oh, oh, all around the Bloomin' Monastery, it was awful. I felt awful. Um, yeah, that's probably my most embarrassing moment, I think. Yeah, I mean, there are, there are other embarrassing moments. And that's it then, guys. So that's, that's the it. answer, isn't it? Yeah, so it's up to you to decide if we're the perfect match. Yeah, we're the perfect mm. match. And let's put this out there for a little bit of a tag for some of you. If you want to do it, it's an open tag, um, the perfect match. You can either go and get these from Poundland or just write down the questions yeah. from watching this video yep. and do it as a video. And actually, I would like Laura, Minx Laura, one, two, three, and Nathan, her fiance Nathan, I'd like you guys to do it. I really would. There you go, Nathan, it's out there for you. Yeah. I'm going to say bye. Yep, and I'm going to say goodbye as well. And it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from me. And if you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up and press the subscribe button. See you later. Bye. Bye.